it's Tina and Alfred, Alfred. Welcome back to my channel. Now it's been a while since Alfred and I have filmed a Tina and Alfred tries it and I thought today would be perfect because we're in Japan and we're going to be staying at a capture hotel. It's my first time but it's Alfred's second time? Second time I've been in one before. But... Yeah but he has not been in one like this okay. So I've seen a lot of videos on capture hotels in Japan. Usually they're like small pods stacked upon each other and you know they're cool and stuff but it's never made me like really want to stay at one. That all changed until I stumbled across this one. It's called the Millennials Hotel in Shibuya. On a scale of low end to high end capture hotels this one will be more high end. Excited? How do you feel? Are you I'm ready cold. for one? FYI, I have crazy nails and I cannot do anything today, so um, this will be interesting. So in level four, there's the reception. Teddy bear, press it. Check in now to our room. So our number is A19 and A20. Got to go all the way down to here. That's actually pretty good. That's what the beds look like. This is us. Oh my God, I have to take this room. Can I take this room, B? And Alf can have this room. So Alfred and I are next to each other. We're just going to pop our stuff. Apparently you can put your stuff underneath and then lock it there. So I decided I'll actually take the white room because that's actually going to be better when I do my makeup in the morning. I can actually see the other room is quite pink. So poor Alfred has to sleep in a pink room. Cause hang on, it's quite spacious actually. <laughs> Cause in a phone charger. So we got given these phones and these are the remote to control the room. Lights off. There's a fan. I think it's coming up out there. And you can also adjust the bed. Also, when you need some privacy, you can just pull this down. And it locks just where the bed ends. And now I have my own little space, my own little private space. There's also free Wi-Fi, so you don't have to worry about getting bored in your pod. You can literally just jump on your phone, there's free Wi-Fi, power outlets if you want to use your laptop, or you know, you can actually head up to the common areas and hang out there. There's also a little mirror here, so I guess I can do my makeup here in the morning. There's some coat hangers, you can hang your jacket here. And I think I remember seeing on the website if you book a pod with a projector, you can hook it up to your like device and actually play movies and videos and stuff and whatnot there. This pod was quite affordable. I think often I paid about $90 sing dollars each so it's quite affordable. I think the other capsule hotels in Japan can be a little bit cheaper but I think for what you're getting here it's actually a really really big bed. Alf and I can both fit in here. We should have totally just got one room. <laughs> I don't think that's allowed. What do you think of it so far? It's really spacious. Like the one I've been in before was way smaller, way, way smaller. Do you remember how much you paid for it? It's like less than 50 bucks a night. Ah, okay. It's super cheap. It's like literally a hole in the wall and you have to like go into it. It doesn't really feel like a capsule hotel though. It's not really a capsule. Okay, if I feel like maybe the ones that we've seen online, they're more like economy and this would be business class. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? How do you feel? I really like it. I, I think I would actually stay here again. I like that you know you can actually have like shared space so you and I can actually hang out. It's not like a divided space. I think I'd be very lonely if it was that. And then also because you get your own like bigger space I don't feel like so claustrophobic. So far so good. I was struggling getting my stuff out of my suitcase. I think 
I think I have to get these off very soon. Let's go check out some of the other amenities. I don't know where they serve beer. We need to find out where they're gonna serve the free flow beer in approximately an hour. Nice looking taps and mirrors, so you can do your makeup in here. So it looks like there's three showers in here, each with their own private, you know, door in clothes. Mm, yes. So this is what the shower looks like. You have all your, your shampoo, conditioner, body wash. Um, it's a handheld shower if you don't want to use the rain shower. What's that? You just step on it. I don't think it does anything. They also have hair dryers here, so you don't have to worry about bringing your own. and dryer, we can do a bit of laundry. We just got back from dinner. Alfred's folding the laundry. We're gonna like get ready for bed now. My nails are gonna wake everyone. I don't need a spatula. Okay, I'm ready for bed. So far, it's actually like a really comfortable experience. I think like if I were to stay in any other capsule hotel, maybe the more like traditional ones or the, like the really small ones, I don't think I would enjoy it as much. Um, it's nice to know that Alfred's just next door and around us there's not that many like um, full pods so there's like maybe three other people but they're a little bit further away um, so that's nice. Overall it's not bad like even as a couple like Alfred and I we don't mind it because again we get to see each other. If it was other um, places you would be separated so I don't know for me that's a little bit uncomfortable. Everyone's so friendly here. All the staff, they speak English, most of them are foreigners. That's my overall experience so far. We shall see as I sleep tonight. Hopefully I get a good night's sleep. Surprisingly, it's not very stuffy in here at all. I have the little fan on and it's literally like the little aeroplane like fan, but it's actually quite comfortable. Even though it's like winter, it's not very cold in here at all. The blanket's quite nice, pillows are comfortable bed's really soft too so anyway i think i shall just like clock off for now and then i'll update you guys in the morning and see how my first night went okay all right good night bye 
so tired. What time is it? 8.30. I'm so swollen. Why? I think we had a lot of salt yesterday. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> I'll never get sick of that. I'll see you outside. Going down for breakfast now. It's almost 10 a.m. now, so we need to check out. We can say goodbye to our smart pods. Home. This is like one step closer for us moving to a tiny home. Guys, I'm obsessed with watching like tiny houses and tiny homes. So to check out, you need to return the amenity bags and also the phone keys. So we've checked it out and we are officially done with our stay at one of the best capsule hotels in Tokyo. What do you think? I really enjoyed it. I mean, it didn't really feel like a capsule hotel. <laughs> for me because in my mind a capsule hotel was literally a hole in the wall it was really comfortable lots of leg room i definitely wasn't struggling um, with my height i um, had plenty of room i think i could have fit like three of me in there and you also used the alarm right i did yeah so they had an alarm setting where the bed will come up and the lights can turn on without you know ringing and causing a noise for everyone else around and i think we really lucked out by having no one around us and there was no one else snoring. I mean, you know, typically in a capsule hotel, you hear a lot of snoring. Yeah. We were really lucky in that. Yeah, yeah we're, we're lucky that I guess we caught them in quiet season. Kind of felt like we had our own little space together. And you know what? It's actually great for couples because um, you don't get separated. I would definitely do it again. Yeah, for sure. It's like they have chains everywhere. So I feel like if we ever were to travel anywhere else in Japan, if they had one, I would totally go and stay at one. I guess that is it from us. We're going to head to the zoo now. So let's cap <laughs> this video off. I hope you guys have enjoyed um, our episode of Alfred and Tina Tries It. Let us, version. let us know if you want to see more of that. I feel like Alfred needs to like come back and star in my videos again. Like this video if you agree and comment below so Alfred can get some encouragement. <laughs> Anyways, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we shall speak to you guys next time. See ya. Bye. Hey. Oh my god, you can stand.